Everybody wants to lose a bit of fat. And when they try and lose fat, the same questions reappear over and over again, the most popular of which is, if you eat too few calories, can you gain fat through the mechanism of something known as starvation mode? Everybody wants to lose fat. Oh, oh. We've all heard it down the local fat club, stepping on the scale, your weight hasn't budged. And Sally, the condescending bitch, comes over and goes, maybe the reason that you haven't lost weight is you are eating too fewer calories and your body in a bid through its metabolism is aware that you're not eating enough and you're gaining fat because... What? If we remove this theory out of context, it's a bit like your bank manager saying, hold on, you're in so much debt that you might make money. Now, firstly, let's appreciate when you put yourself in a calorie deficit and lose fat, there are adaptations that occur. Number one is an increase in appetite. Your body's not stupid. It's like, hold on, you've started eating less. What incredible mechanism could we utilize to get you to eat more? You probably get a bit more hungry. That doesn't just even happen on diets. It happened this morning when I forgot to have my cereal before coming in to film this for you. So my hunger is your fault, you pagans. Another thing that can occur is your caloric requirements on a daily basis will go down, especially through successful dieting. Let me show you. This could be a visual representation of you moving around with all that fat that you gained. When you lose it, there is less weight. Therefore, there is less energy required, even for basic things like locomotion. If you lose 10 kilograms, you are now an entity that's lighter. Therefore, you burn less calories. One of the biggest factors that you'll run into when you're dieting and put yourself in a calorie deficit is you will move less. If we halved your calories, we would notice that you fidget less, you sit at any given opportunity. You're more inclined to take an elevator because you have that mentality in your head. You go, oh, I could take the stairs, but I'm on a diet, so I'll get the escalator. Oh, I could walk, but I had a salad for lunch, so I'll get the fucking tube. Oh, I could opt to take the stairs, but I did lose a pound this week, so maybe I won't. We also have a very famous experiment called the Minnesota Starvation Experiment, where people were heavily restricted with their calories and all of them lost weight, like all of them. And if starvation mode was true in periods of famine, let's look at like World War I or even World War II, and then one soldier out of nowhere was like, fucking hell lads, look at the weight I've gained. Jesus, look at Terry, we stopped feeding him and he got fat. Never happened, never happened. I know what you're thinking, what about those people that were eating 1200 calories a day and still didn't lose fat? Well they weren't on 1200 calories a day. Misreporting is one of the biggest discrepancies in the fat loss realm. Either there are people defying physics and thermodynamics by synthesizing energy out of nowhere, or people are misreporting. And that's not me saying all fat people are liars. Just when you look at the studies, the people that are eating 1200 calories are eating a lot more than 1200 calories. So if you're in a calorie deficit and you're not losing fat, you're not in a calorie deficit. And that's not me trying to be a facetious prick. That's me trying to let you know that should you put yourself in a deficit, you will lose fat. That's not to say your appetite won't go up and your inclination for exercise will certainly go down. You'll probably feel lethargic at times, but quite literally, when you starve people or heavily restrict their calories, not one of them has gained weight as a byproduct. So unfortunately, starvation mode is a bullshit excuse that people like to point the finger at when they're not making progress. Pick a sensible calorie deficit, not an extreme one. Lift your weights, eat a high protein diet, not only hit a good step count, but maintain a step count. You'll never need to blame starvation mode again. And if you want to know the reality behind losing a pound of body fat, then make sure you watch this video here if you haven't already.